Amy from Doodle Dog Designs and today I'm going to talk about the different types of hoops you can use with your punch needle. We'll talk about what works and what doesn't work and why. Let's get started. Okay, first we're going to talk about what doesn't work. Here I have just two standard embroidery hoops. I'm going to stick the weaver's cloth in the hoop and try to get it as tight as I can. fairly tight and then I will just start punching as you can see it's gotten very loose as I've punched and you really want the fabric to be drum tight the entire time you're punching and it gets loose very quickly with this type of a hoop. Then I also have this fairly standard style of hoop here. This type of hoop is just flat around the edges. There are no grooves. It's just a regular embroidery hoop. It has a screw here to tighten it up. And I will put the fabric in this hoop. Again, I'm going to pull it tight tighten it and keep pulling it tight just like I would in any hoop It's fairly tight. I haven't been able to get it super tight. But let's see what happens. Again, it's getting pretty loose as I punch. Now I'm going to show you what does work and we'll start with what works well and work our way up to what works the best. So you can get these Morgan no slip hoops. They come in a variety of sizes. Here I've got 5 inch, 7 inch, 9 inch, and 12 inch. They have a wing nut that you can tighten and loosen to get the fabric on. They have a lip on one side of the hoop it goes all the way around and on the other side of the hoop it has a groove and the two parts fit together to form a lock so that it keeps the fabric tight longer. So here I've got my same weaver's cloth and I'm going to stick it in this frame. want to slide it until the lip is over the groove and then tighten the wing nut and as you tighten you want to tighten the fabric by pulling it just get the fabric as tight as possible punch on this. As you can see the fabric is still pretty tight after punching. With this type of hoop it does 
eventually gets saggy when you punch for a long time and so you can just retighten occasionally as needed. You can also get a lap stand in the same brand. It's the No Slip. It has the grooves and the lips on these and it is a double so it can be this one can be a seven inch or nine inch they come in different sizes i have one of those here this is the one that i use so it's got the lip and the groove it's got a stand so you can set it in your lap or on the table and punch and you don't have to hold it and then you can flip it over and i have it has a hoop on either side so you can punch with a bigger piece of fabric or a smaller piece of fabric depending on what you're doing. I'll put the fabric in this one. Well this is not going to hold the fabric any tighter than the hoops will but it's handier because you don't have to use one hand to hold it. It's also a little bit easier, I think, to get the fabric tighter in this because, again, you don't have to hold the hoop. It's got a a stand to hold it up. So I've got the fabric tight and I will punch and as you can see it has stayed nice and tight. Now the last thing I have to show you here is a gripper strip frame and it has these pokey gripper strips that grip your fabric and hold it tight and once you get it tight in this it will stay tight the entire time you're punching. Uh, these are the same type of frames that are used in rug hooking so if you're interested in doing both crafts that's very handy. Um, mine has a little peekaboo hole in the bottom here so as you're punching you can turn the frame over and see how your work is progressing from the front of it since you punch from the back. So to use this type of frame you put the fabric on and the gripper strips hold it and so you can just pull the fabric and make it tight go around each side and pull it tight and then it gets it really nice and tight and then I have a cover that I put over the teeth so when I'm punching I don't risk rubbing my hands on the teeth and scratching them. I'm punching with this You can see it has stayed tight. With this frame, it will stay tight the entire time that you're punching the project until you take the fabric off of the teeth. You don't have to keep retightening. In terms of price, the non slip hoops are the cheapest option. The lap stands are next in price, and the gripper strip frames are the most expensive of the three. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe below and click the like button. I'll see you next time. Bye.